the swamp is the fruition of about five years of planning and one year of fundraising and basically represents a really huge step for Ethiopia because it's the first time that some of the church forests have been conserved. This wall we hope is the beginning of many walls that will be built by the people, maintained by the people. Can you get us all in? <laughs> so this Alamayhu, this wall is for them, not for us. <laughs> Spider. Okay. Itches. Gundan. And uh, oh. the whole idea of having a t-shirt is so that we can give the kids an educational tool. They don't really probably have a library of books and they probably don't have a bookshelf at home, but by giving them a t-shirt, they can wear their own field guide and this is part of hoping to bring stewardship about the biodiversity in their forests. So I love bugs. Can you say that? I I love, love bugs. Bug. Bug. <laughs> I love I love bug. Bug. This wall we um, actually help improve their crop yield because they've taken the stones out of the fields and that helps the crop yield. They've hired local people to build them and they've conserved the forests and even better you can see that they've expanded the forest perimeter so that more forests can be restored. So this land had been already grazed and became bare, but now uh, after we make this wall, uh, then uh, the forest is expanding. So one of the advantage of this wall is it gave us a chance to get more land for expansion. And I think what's also important, this is the first time there were hygiene units in the church forest, which houses about a hundred or more disciples and the priest. And so you can imagine that that element of the lack of hygiene was actually skewing the biodiversity towards dung beetles in a big way, which might sound a little bit silly, but it's a huge change in the soil and the landscape. And so the priest asked us very humbly if we could help with latrines before the wall because they want to make sure the ecosystem inside is healthy. And so now we have opportunity for hygiene and for saving the forest, which is very good. Yeah. So we fundraise for both um, through the Tree Foundation. We can't do one without the other. And we can't study the biodiversity as scientists without saving the forest. These trees are all native. 99% of all this forest is native species, not found on the outside, but all uh, only inside. Here. Yeah. So this is a huge library of biodiversity for yeah, the future. Uh, that's the purpose of the fencing groups right. after all. I mean, right. because look, this, this is a farmland. So the farmer is pushing every year. Right. Now we stop him. And he needs to cr grow crop, but now yes. he understands. He understands. He also wants to save the forest. Exactly. So, so still you could see the cattle over there. If you come last or before two years, those cattle would have been in the forest to get shelter from scorching sun, to get uh, grass. But now they are out. So that is a, a success. We're really excited. It also looks like a social setting. Lots of people and kids are sitting on the wall. We found biodiversity living in the wall, so it's a win, 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 win all the way around.